Alrighty, so here we have Doom and Destiny Worlds being played in Nintendo Switch. So if you go to courtesy of Heartbit Interactive Publisher, thank you guys for the view opportunity. So we have options, so we have music, sound effects, background sounds, mute everything. Uh, we have controller options, we have uh, easy mode, enable easy mode for the game battles. Uh, skip tutorials, eject tutorials will not appear in game. No chit chat, party members will never comment on your actions. Resize the display and language and restore defaults. We're gonna go ahead and play. And we're gonna do a new game. Okay. So we can choose between Mike. So, I'm sorry, we're going to just bring Nigel, uh, Nigel, Mike, the, Mike, Johnny, or Francis. Uh, Nigel is a charismatic geek in love with spreadsheets, history, and his ego. He is the self-proclaimed leader of the group. Mike, Mike is a wise dude who loves to chillax, listen to indie rock, and watch 80s movies. He worships the flying spaghetti monster. Johnny. Johnny is a strong power player. He uses sport to hide his love for math, collectible cards, and tabletop games. Francis. Francis is a dexterous nerd who loves to paint miniatures, read board game rule books, and crush everyone else's dreams with facts. We're going to go ahead and play as Johnny. Actually, no, we'll play as... I'll play as Nigel. So when you pick a character, you have the option to add modifiers. Um, so you can add this modifier right here, um, which makes it so the gear doesn't it doesn't break. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and leave that off. Um, survive survival mode is only available for those that purchase the DLC. I'll tell you, you can unlock survival mode by purchasing Survival of the Nerdiest. Would you like to check the additional content in the Nintendo eShop? No. Okay, I'm right. Okay, and we're gonna head into the game here. <laughs> holy hole in a donut. <laughs> Where am I? This doesn't look like Benjamin's game room. Whoa, I'm naked! <laughs> and I can't even do the helicopter to fly away. I need to find my friends. Let's explore the island and try my best to survive Minecraft style. To move your nerdy hero, use the left analog stick. To interact with the world, confirm and do great things, press the A button. You can run around faster holding X. So I'm going to open this chest here. Good boy, you open your first chest to open and close menu and cancel press B. Alright, we're going to put on the shirt. And we're going to take and equip the machete. How did my shirt get in here? Okay, so this game plays uh, like a a uh, blend of like um, turn-based JRPG in, in the sense of it's like it's like like Final Fantasy. It's turn-based uh, battles, but also you have the uh, um, Minecraft or uh, Terraria-style uh, survival gameplay. Actually, it's more, more more in tune with um, the the survivalists actually. So it's like survivalist meets file uh, Final Fantasy, which is kind of interesting. So we're going to take the soup. So if you hit the B button, this is your your menu. Uh, you can you can inspect things, you can compare things, you can throw things, you can uh, divide quickly uh, things between the slots. Um, mm. 
and you can uh, destroy thing destroy things with them show you like grass to get to get grass wood and you're gonna need these things in order to craft materials like weapons armor things like that I'm gonna grab all this stuff right now actually it's a day night cycle uh, the game very much pokes fun at various tropes and, and things which is kind of which is always fun to see when games break the the fourth wall and and uh, poke fun of themselves so I'm gonna go this way nope I'm not gonna so I'm gonna go this way first yeah if you try to go to if you try to fall down too far it, it won't let you Oh my, that's the chonkiest and weirdest seagull I've ever seen. Wait, you're not a seagull. Are you a green goblin monster or something wearing a seagull costume? Please, Mr. Seagull, don't poke my coconut. Whoa, a message in a bottle. I hope it's not spam. <laughs> Dearest of my all my dear friends, my name is Mike. I'm sorry for bothering you, but I'm stuck on the top of a small crumbling tower and I can't find my way down. Attached to this non-digital email, there is a map.png file. I marked my position with the cool tower. Oh, with the tool, the cool tower on the top of. Tower. I really hope you can rescue me because this place is super boring. I look forward to hearing from you soon. Whoa! So Mike is here too. I have to find him before he gets crazy for the loneliness. Whoa! A map with the marker on it. Sounds like a quest for me. A main quest. Press ZL plus Y to quickly open the map. And here's your map. First battle here. Welcome to your first battle tutorial. To win a battle, you have to take your enemy's hit points to zero. Each attack, no matter how strong it is, removes one and only one HP. Stamina points have two uses. They can be spent to cast special powers, or they are automatically used to shield... Uh, your HP. When you use this as a shield, SP are reduced by the attack strength of SP are reduced to zero. Each next attack will hit the HP. Long story short, to hit uh, hit the enemy to send his SP to zero, then keep smashing his face and send his HP to zero. I'm gonna, I'm gonna attack here. And uh, you get you get experience points after each battle. You also get um, uh, uh, resource items as well. So overall, graphically, I really like the game. I like the way it looks. Um, and, and and the game's fun too. You can easily sort inventory by pressing the X button. We're gonna hate the match. Um, I like how um, how easy the menu system is. It's not it's not too clunky. It's not it's not you know it's not something that is too hard to understand. It's it's really really great. All right, so I check this campfire. What would you like to do with this nice campfire? Nothing? Rest, cook, or extinguish the fire? I'll rest. There's a full day and night cycle in the game, which is really cool. And then I'll just give a daily recap. And then here you have the workbench. So here you can, uh, you can create resources. So I can, can create a wood uh, ingot in order to craft um, items. I'm going to hold the ZR button and hold down the A button. That allows me to continuously craft things as long as I have the resources for them. 
And then now I can craft weapons like a machete. I can do an axe. I can get a helmet. So I'm gonna go ahead and craft a helmet. And armor, let's go ahead and do wild armor, why not? Now what's cool about this, it really likes to find gear and weapons if you really want something crafted, the crafting stations. Use workbenches to make ingots and thread, then use them to craft armors and weapons. So what's cool about this is when you when you equip a hat or, or a, a piece of armor, it it um it uh, aesthetically changes the the character, which is neat. I like that. Okay, and then where is the oh the vegan armor? Cool. So now it looks, now it looks like a little Viking. <laughs> All right, so I take that. Got some wood. So I go up here. And obviously rocks are gonna need you're gonna need a, a pickaxe for those. I'm gonna, oh I was trying to get away from fighting. Mike. Oh my, you're here too. This is crazy. I know, right? I woke up on the shore and I have no idea how I ended up here. Me neither. I have no idea how I ended up on the top of the tower. Can you climb down or something? <laughs> I could jump down and kill myself or you could help me climb down. <laughs> well, I could help you, but I don't know how. Why do I have to tell you everything? Stack some blocks, make a stair. Make a bridge between this tower and the high rock. Do something. Don't be a pillock. I'll figure out something. Try going west or east. I saw smoke in a near island. Maybe there's someone who can help you. Okay, but what if I want to go north? Well, you could, but I saw stronger monsters north from here. I don't want you to... I don't want you, my only chance of escape, to be devoured by some random encounter. Oh, that's very thoughtful of you. Alright, so now we're gonna... Go this way. And you can see the machete does have a, uh, a uh, durability meter there. And over time it will uh, deplete and break. Which will prevent you from... Uh, gathering grass and, and other resources. Well, the resources beside, I mean, you would you can grab without a machete, but. What is that? Oh, that's a crab. Okay, we're gonna come up here. Oh, no, we're not. This way first. Oh, come on, really? Can I run away? I did run away. Awesome. Okay, so I'm gonna go up this way now. Oh my god, guys, you're here too? This is the craziest in a whole new level. What's crazy? Were you worried about my survival skills? Well, of course we were, but I was referring to the whole strain on island situation. Are you alone? Did you find anyone else? I met Mike. Where is he? Too lazy to come here and say hi? Nope. But listen up, that dweeb is stuck on the top of a tower and he can't get down. Haha, -ha, what a loser. <laughs> Guys, we should be, be laughing at this. Yeah, maybe you're right. You're right, laughing at someone else's misfortunes can be considered an evil action. 
Evil? I'm a good character. I don't want to change alignment and lose experience points. That's not the issue. Laugh as much as you want, but we're the ones who have to save him. Oh boy, you're right. He was begging for help. He asked me to build a stair of blocks or a bridge of some kind. A stair of blocks? And how are we going to make it? By punching down trees and stacking bricks of wood? Well, we might... What? We found a couple of blueprints in this chest. One of them is for a toolbox. The toolbox will allow us to build blocks and easily move them around to build a stair or maybe or make a bridge. It sounds way too much work. It wouldn't be easier to find a new friend. I agree, a new friend might be the fastest solution, and besides, it might bring some new ideas to our team. <laughs> shut up, it will be fun. So I'm gonna grab the blueprints here. I'll take them all. Now craft toolbox, floor tiler, wooden block, stone block. You can now craft a pickaxe. You can now craft a shovel. So I can go ahead and come over here and I can go to resources. Okay, and I don't have enough for a pickaxe yet. Now if you don't have enough, you can actually track it, which is neat. So you can, it'll put it in the corner there and you can, uh, oops, grab that, okay. You can try the resources in real time. It's really cool, actually. I like that feature. Mind berries. Now, what's cool about this is if you had... So if I go ahead and hit the B button, uh, I can switch the, the care. I can give the um, axe to, say, Johnny, for instance. So if there's a tree I want to cut down, I'll, I'll we'll fight these guys real quick. There we go. Okay, so let's say I wanted to cut this tree down. I can use the L and R buttons to go over to the X and hit Y, and then they'll swap the character. And now I can chop the tree down and get the wood. Now, if you, if for instance the other character here had had a weapon or had a like a like a shovel, for instance. You can swap between the characters, which is really handy. To be able to do that. If anyone's taught me anything, I need some kind of sword to cut down this thing. Oh. Did he not have. Oh, no, I hit the wrong character, that's why. Okay. So yeah, overall, great game. Um, it's a game that I'm, I'm really liking a lot. Um, it's up to four players, so four players can play on the same console, which is really neat. I wish it was like an online multiplayer. I think that'd be kind of cool, but still, the fact that it's four-player co-op is really neat. Um, this is my first time playing a, Dooms, a, 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 a Doom and Destiny game, and it, it's a lot of fun. Um, I'm, I'm really enjoying the 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 blend of of uh, survivalist meets Final Fantasy. It's a really awesome concept, uh, really fun, um, and definitely a game I, I'd highly recommend. Um, any fan of uh, of RPGs or survival games, check this out. Uh, so I thank uh, uh, Heartbit for the rear opportunity. This game's great, uh, lots of fun, <laughs> definitely worth worth your time and worth the money. So. Uh, well, thank you for watching. Thank you for subscribing. As always, till next time, take care and happy gaming.